Hey there, creators. Here's a new YouTube update that every creator needs to know. YouTube has introduced the third-party training setting, a feature that puts you in control of whether your content can be used for AI training. If you're curious about what this means, how it works, and whether you should turn it on or leave it off, stick around. I'll explain everything in simple terms so you can make the best decision for your channel. Have you ever wondered how your YouTube content could be used to shape the future of AI? Well, today we're talking about YouTube's third-party training setting. This feature gives you control over whether your videos can be used to train artificial intelligence models. Sounds interesting, right? Let's break it down in simple terms, stick with me, and by the end, you'll know exactly what this setting is, how it works, and whether you should use it or not. What is the third-party training setting? First, let's talk about what this setting actually is. The third-party training setting is a feature in YouTube Studio that lets you decide if AI companies can use your public YouTube videos to train their AI models. AI training means teaching computer systems how to learn and perform tasks by analyzing large amounts of data, like videos, music, or images. By default, this setting is off. That means your content is not being used for AI training unless you specifically allow it. Why did YouTube create this setting? With the rise of generative AI, like those AI tools that can create art, write scripts, or recommend videos, there's a huge demand for content to help train these systems. YouTube wanted to give creators a choice. If you want to help train AI models, you can. If you don't, your content stays protected. This way, you stay in control of your content. How does it work? Okay, let's get into the details of how this setting works. If you turn it on, you'll get to choose which third-party companies can access your videos. For example, let's say a company is building an AI that recommends videos or generates subtitles. By enabling this setting, you're giving them permission to use your public videos for their AI training. Now here's what's included. All your public videos are eligible. The videos must follow YouTube's terms of service and community guidelines. If you don't want to participate, just leave the setting off. Easy as that. What happens if you allow third-party training? So what actually happens if you allow it? YouTube may share your videos with the companies you've approved. These companies will use your videos to improve their AI models. For example, an AI might learn how people talk, how they interact, or how to detect certain visuals. But don't worry, YouTube is transparent about this. The status of your videos, like whether they're being used for training, will be visible through a public tool called the YouTube Data API and you can change your settings anytime, although it might take up to seven days for changes to take effect. What if you don't want to participate? Now here's the good news. If you don't want your videos used for AI training, you don't have to do anything. By default, the third-party training setting is off. And remember, YouTube's terms of service already protect your content from unauthorized downloads or scraping. That means no one can legally use your videos without your permission. How to turn this setting on or off. Let me show you how to find and change this setting. Open YouTube Studio. Go to Settings. Click on Channel Settings. Look for the third-party training setting. Toggle it on or off. If you're a rights holder using YouTube Studio Content Manager, the steps are similar. You can even manage videos from linked channels. Should you use this setting? So the big question, should you turn this setting on? Here are some things to consider. If you're okay with your videos being used to train AI and possibly help create new technology, turning it on might be a good idea. If you want to keep strict control of how your content is used, leave it off. There's no right or wrong choice. It's all about what works best for you. At the end of the day, the third-party training setting is all about giving you control over your content. You can help shape the future of AI, or you can decide to keep your content exclusive. The important thing is that YouTube has made it clear and easy for you to choose. What do you think about this feature? Will you turn it on or keep it off? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please support the channel by giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with others, and most importantly, subscribing to stay updated with more awesome content. Your support means a lot and helps us keep creating for you. Don't forget to hit the bell icon 